Hello, my name is Natalie Slice. I will be your guys' instructor today. First of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for stopping by and wanting to paint with me. I've taken hundreds of painting classes throughout my my life and all I can tell you is that practice makes perfect and hopefully you can learn a thing or two from me. So the first things first that we want to do is we want to put the background in before we put the uh, main subject matters which is the pumpkin and the flower. So I see there's like some type of wooden beam here like it's like in a house and then a wooden table and then some background. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna grab Naples yellow and a touch of that color we just used just to dirty it up a little bit. Barely feathered in. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Half in this color, half in the other color, and just lightly, you just pull, 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 and then over here, pull. See this color is drying up, that's why it's not blending as much. So I'm gonna grab a little more of that um, color and just blend it in. Come on over here. I'm going to overlap one here. Now I'm going to get the highlight. So all you got to do is add a touch more white to whatever color you're using. Come on, quick. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some Naples. Naples yellow. Make a pile here. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna get some burnt sienna, just a touch of that. And then I'm gonna grab some white. Yeah, that's a nice color. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and, for this side of the pumpkin, I wanna go a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up down here really quickly. Okay, so now I just blend those two colors together. They're still wet. Perfect. Love that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little flat brush as well as with this one so I can you know go back and forth. So what we want to do, the goal is to like blend these lines out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the medium color and blend it out. I'm just gonna blend it out like that. Okay, and then we're gonna make another line right about here. Pull it down. And we're gonna grab that same color, that medium tone, and just blend this side out. I'm just gonna pull it all the way till it's blended. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush on my paper towel. Grab the lightest tone. Just go ahead and, oh, it's maybe a little too light. I'm gonna mix those two tones together on my palette here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend these two. too distracting I'm just pulling from the bottom really quick and there you have it that's all I want to do is throw some quick little highlights and all I'm gonna do is fill in all these flower petals I'm not making them all the same size making them all the different sizes Kind of following the wave of the flower going around and around. I'm just gonna lightly, don't wanna go over every, all the work I did, just most of it.
and then I smudge my finger to make it blend out onto the pumpkin. This is a shadow. So let's put some white here. I'm just gonna smudge it just like the shadow. When we smudge the shadow, we wanna smudge the highlight in. I realized I didn't go all the way down. It looks kind of funny. I'm just gonna pull it up. I wanna show you guys how I varnish my paintings. I usually stay like this far away. Highly recommend this stuff. All right. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much. Bye.